enough of the restart and let's just get this done. Boy, gotta get to the beer. Hey Torinos, how you doing? Well, in a continuing effort to understand creationists, I will once again crack one open and give a listen to a video I have found on YouTube. Today, it's a gentleman by the name of Megasage. Uh -huh. And he has a reputation of being just a little angry. So appropriately, I have chosen an angry Scotch Ale. Let's crack it open and give a listen to Megasage and his video. Eight. If I can get it open. Eight. All right. A lousy bastard. Yeah. Now we know why they call it angry. Mm. All right. She's open. <laughs> Let's try this. Mm. Hey, that's not bad. Very nice. Very strong ale. About six and a half percent. And a point of it. All right. Let's deal with this guy, Mega Sage, and his video, Atheism. It lies. Let's see what you got. Atheism is lies. Oh goodness. He's Santa Claus is the evil twin. Holy yikes. Let's see what he's got. Oh, you have heard the devil is the father of lies, mm -hmm. but he needs someone to lie for him. You ought to know. That's where atheists come in handy. Oh, you figured. Atheists yeah. like to play devil's advocates. Mm -hmm. So the devils they don't believe in are more than glad to accommodate them. Yeah, we don't believe in devils either. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. The first lie atheists like to tell is their unbelief proves God doesn't exist. I'm sorry, that would be a lie on your part. Mm -mm. My unbelief is just my unbelief. I don't buy it. I don't claim that proves God does not exist. I personally think it's highly improbable, but it is not a proof. Let's move on. And they will give you a million excuses to try to prove their unbelief. Damn, that's good. I don't need to prove my unbelief. I simply state it. I don't believe you. They say they just don't believe to gain an advantage in debate. No, we say we don't believe because we don't believe. If you perceive that as an unfair advantage in any debate, well, cry to your mama. But as soon as they get into the heat of the discussion, they are slamming God with slanders. Slanders! Have you ever heard anybody slander the Tooth Fairy? Fuck that bitch. She is a cheap bitch. Two teeth at once. Two teeth at once when I was a kid. One quarter. Bitch. You don't talk bad about someone you don't believe in. Uh, exists. Yeah. yeah, right. Sure. Once they foolishly dismiss their creator, they have to find excuses to explain the existence of the universe. No, we don't. I can just go, I don't know, and I'm comfortable with that. How about you? You know, a universe uh, is not something that you can hide in your closet. <laughs> Buddy, that's just too easy. I, I'm not going there. It's just too easy. And having lots of practical lying experience with their parents and teachers for not doing their homework when they were young. As a matter of fact, I did my homework. I excelled in school. 95 average, don't you know? Atheists grow up to be very experienced at explaining what didn't happen. <sighs> Damn, that's good. They want the world to believe God didn't create the universe. God probably did not create the universe. It makes no logical sense. And you have not provided any proof otherwise. They say universes do not create themselves, but according to science, they form naturally. They're probably. talking about the unprovable Big Bang fraud. Fraud. <laughs> uh, yeah, unprovable. Well, in an absolute sense, I suppose that's true. Although, there's an extreme amount of evidence for it. And it's not a fraud. If anything, your religion is a fraud. That has never supplied building materials for singularity to expand into the present day universe. Uh -huh. This is starting to kick in. Well done. So you atheists are lying when you say science says the universe formed itself naturally? Nope. Science never completed its Big Bang. 
science never completed its big bang. First of all, it's not a big bang, you jerk. Hey. And second of all, what the hell do you mean they never completed their big bang? They never gave an explanation sufficient to, for you to understand? Is that what you're really saying? You are speaking of it as though they did. Let's get this straight right now. They never gave a complete explanation because there is no complete explanation. Science will never be complete. It will always be updating, always be changing, unlike your dogma. The universe cannot form itself naturally without the building materials to do it. Says who? You? Just because you got a big, long, fancy freaking beard? Prove your first cause. <laughs> Then we will talk about unintelligent forces of nature designing the brilliant Prove your first cause, Jack. ...minded functionality of cosmic bodies in the universe which God hurled into orbit with omnipotent power. Hurled into orbit with omnipotent power. <laughs> what, did he fucking come into orbit with huge power or some fucking thing? What the hell are you talking about, you lunatic? Here are a few more of the lies atheists like to tell us. They claim they are more scientific-minded, yet none of their pseudosciences will ever be proved. Uh, actually, there are lots of proofs for the sciences for anyone who cares to look into it and experiment. That's the whole point. You take a hypothesis, build basic facts, do testing, and come up with a working theory and that's repeatable for anybody who is open-minded enough to simply try it. Whereas your whole shtick is based upon It's in a book from 2,000 years ago, so it's gotta be true. Hey, starting to get angry. There never was a Big Bang. There never was an abiogenesis uh, single cell that climbed out of primordial never soup. Never was, never was, because he knows, because there just never was. And there never was an evolved human being. Well, certainly not in your case. It's a process, Jack. An evolved, no, evolving. I am the product of 65 million years of evolution. And continuing. Those are all man-made myths that can never be proved in a billion lifetimes. Care to bet? But they claim they are smarter than we are. <laughs> Again, too easy. Too easy. If they can't prove it today, they say science will prove it soon. So future hope becomes their evidence while telling us our future hopes of heaven on earth have to be proved. Yes, they do. Because you people claim all kinds of crap. And then the next guy claims something else. And then the next guy claims something else. And what? I'm supposed to believe every freaking one of you? Gonna take a lot of this shit to get me to that point. Atheists like to lie about history claiming great men for atheism. Take a No. Take a closer look and you will find out Edison, Ford, Frost, Twain were not atheists. Who cares? That's your shtick. I don't give a shit about any of those guys. To name a few. Name a few. But Jim Jones was an atheist. Yeah, the leader of a religious cult was an atheist. Mm -hmm. Maybe he even was. But he was also a lying scam artist piece of shit. Something you ought to know about. And you don't like Kool-Aid, do you? As a matter of fact, I like Kool-Aid. Not the green one, though. That's a fucking abomination. And the two killers at Columbine School were atheists. And you know this how? That's established how? And by the way, even if they were, what difference does it make? So it was Lenin, Stalin, Khrushchev, Mayo, Pol Pot, and a whole, whole list of murderous Mm -hmm. Atheist, mm -hmm. historically. Mm -hmm. uh, I noticed you left out uh, the usual dickhead that people like you bring up, uh, Hitler. You didn't throw him in the mix. Is that because uh, that's already been debunked thoroughly 
What, do we have to go through all those other ones too? Give me a fucking break. Get to know your history. And you get to know history. And maybe you won't want to be an atheist anymore. Guess again. The more I become educated, the more I learn about history, the more I learn about sociology, etc., the more I am firmly convinced of my atheism. People like this, with their bullshit stories, are always trying to divert you from the truth. It's bullshit. Bullshit. Atheists want us to believe if they badmouth us, they are tougher than we are. But do you know why there are no atheists in a foxhole during a terrorizing artillery bombardment? Uh, because we're too smart to buy into the usually religious-based bullshit that they manipulate people into going and dying for someone else's fucking agenda? It's a theory. I'll tell you why. Dickhead. Oh, please do. Tell me why. They remember they've got God-given faith. No. No, no. No. Wrong. And they suddenly have a little talk with the Lord upstairs. <sighs> Give me a break. And say, let's make a deal. You get me out of this and I'll serve you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, sure. Maybe some do. Maybe some do with their little, little frightened feelings. You know, and who can blame them with bombs and shit coming down? Oh, fuck, save my ass. Anything that'll save my ass, please help me. Sure. Maybe. But not this cat. Atheists say religion is the cause of all the problems in the world. No, some atheists might say that. I think it does cause a lot of problems. But you know what? The greed, bullshit, and judgmentalism of other people's lifestyles is what creates a lot of problems in the world. They blame us for the bombing of the World Trade Towers. That was religiously motivated. They say religious wars are the cause um, of problems throughout history. Ever hear of the Crusades, Jack? That was a religiously based war and they're proud of it. And people still think it's a good idea to do shit like that. And I'll tell you why wars are fought. Oh, do tell. Please do. It's because people lust for power, mm -hmm. for wealth, for control, for fame. And they will dress their wars up in religion if that will get them an army. Well, I'll be damned. It's either kicking in or something, because I'm actually starting to understand this guy. You know what? You're absolutely right about that. People will lie and be greedy and lustful, etc., and will dress it up in their religion if they think that will get them an army. God damn, the guy's absolutely right. But you can't blame God for that? No, I blame the fucking dickheads that come up with the imaginary friend to blame it on. That's right. Atheists love to lie, saying design is complexity. Yeah, Since okay. All the universe is supremely... Oh, here we go, with the fucking, uh, yeah. Here we go. Intelligently designed with incomprehensible... Com intelligent design bullshit. Oh, you're denying intelligent design. You're obviously denying because you're just denying... Uh, fuck complexity. You. Atheists dismiss the only potent, brilliant-minded, creative power of God by changing the meaning of one word. Mm-hmm. Design. Yeah. I know it's now idea. it's hard for any reasonable person to miss seeing the human body as a wonderful achievement of brilliant-minded design, and medical science fills libraries <laughs> explaining its what? many incredible functioning designs. Uh, yeah, wait. Let me get this straight. Basically, you're saying it's undeniable, to, to, you know, undeniable the brilliance of the design of the human body. Give me a fucking break multiple weaknesses and you know diseases we can be affected by deformities of all kinds and of course manias of all kinds <laughs> give me a break perfection of design <laughs> I can come up with any number of better fucking designs and mankind designs replacement parts for the human body 
that are always inferior to the original. Therefore, the yes, of course they are, because biology has had many, much, many, many more years to evolve solutions, far more than technology has. The original body was designed by a supreme berry being. Supreme, supreme berry being, yeah, berry being. How much has he had? You have to wonder. Someone supreme to you and I. Mm -hmm. and to you can't understand it, so obviously it was created by somebody supreme. You're an idiot. The greatest genius designers you can find among humanity. Uh -huh. Atheists deny the word design. Nope. I don't design, deny the word design. I deny the idea that the world and the universe were designed on purpose by your God. I think it extremely unlikely. Deny absolutely? No. I don't know that. Absolutely. It's like kryptonite to Superman. Get that word design out of here. <laughs> and no, we just dealt with that. Well, I'm telling you that word design is here to stay and you are the proof God exists. I am the proof that God exists. Me sitting here right now telling you I don't buy that shit is a proof that that shit is right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotta wonder. Look in the mirror. Quit denying it. One of the biggest lies atheists embrace in trying to convince us brainless natural selection designed a million life forms by selecting and programming mutations into the genes of life forming, choosing the one out of a million bad mutations. If you want to believe lies, you will become an atheist. The yeah. fool has said in their heart, there is no God. Ah, uh, yeah. And here we go, right from the fucking scriptures, repeating mindless shit. The first lie atheists tell themselves is there is no God, and to prove it, they must lie. No. No. I don't have to lie to prove that I don't buy it. Because I don't buy it. Seems pretty self-evident to me. What am I missing here? They say they don't want to go to heaven. Doesn't they exist. They have no idea what it is like to be one with God in the divine nature of Christ. Oh, and you do, Mr. Kindless and fucking light here? They say they are looking forward to going to hell. No, they don't. I don't believe in your hell any more than I believe in your heaven. They think they might have a little party down there. Have I got news for you? Mm -hmm. There is no party down there, and there are no atheists anymore down there when they arrive. They're all theists. Eh, no. Because it doesn't exist. Because you haven't proven it. Fucking idiot. Hateful theists. You atheists say you are searching for truth, then you dismiss your creator yes. and whom all truth is. I'm searching for truth, sure. Why not? I appreciate truth. Do you? No, I don't think so. Because you're just, you know, repeating this crap from rote. No brain at all. And what does that leave you with? Lies. Lies and more uh, lies. Lies. More lies. And all of the atheists will say, prove God exists. That's right. Prove it. Prove it before I buy into your bullshit. Because that's what it is. You know, prove to me that a threat exists before you expect me to dodge it. Prove to me that there's a reward to be achieved before you expect me to strive for it. You know, prove it to me. Anything else in existence, you know, from, you know, the money you're going to get paid for a job to the fact that, uh, well, whatever. You know, everything else in your life, people, think about it. Everything else in your life, in one form or another, you want some proof. You want signed on the dotted line. You want the check to cash. You want the key to turn the ign in the ignition. You want it to work. You want it to be real. These people would have you buy the idea that your afterlife insurance doesn't need anything like proof. <laughs> Fuck off. And we say God has already proved he exists. No. He has not, and neither have you. Stop lying to yourselves. If anyone's lying, my friend, 
it's you. And I think we've established that. And we are done with the wee Scottish ale. A wee angry Scottish ale. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know. Well, I think we're done. about done with him. I hope it was okay for you guys. Peace and long life. It's not bad. It's not bad.